barako. And love, you know, love can make you do foolish things. You can be under the sun smiling. You say, What do you do? You say, I'm in love. They say you will buy suya. The lady will be eating suya, you'll be eating onions. Hi. <laughs> Jesus will be, may you not eat onions. Kabolovanaka. The lady will even say, Simon, eat suya. And I say, no, I don't like suya. Nalayo. <laughs> love can make you do foolish things. Don't counsel a sister who has already fallen in love. She will not hear anything you are saying. The brain becomes like egg that is not properly fried. Have you seen egg? My God. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> the blessing is what? The justification by faith. And what that does is that it makes you a candidate of the promise. What is the promise? The Holy Spirit. So when Jesus begins to tell you something like, it is better for you that I go. Because if I do not go, he will not come. You will now know why it is, it is, you are cheating yourself if you do not make the sacrifice to build intimacy with the Holy Ghost. This is why when Peter got to the house of Cornelius, he was shocked. He never believed that the Holy Spirit will fall upon men that are uncircumcised in their flesh. He never believed. So when he came back and the, the others were, were challenging him, he said, look, it's not my fault. I'm not the one that initiated it. I never even believed it will happen. He said, I was in a vision. And then while I came out of the vision, two men were standing, saying, come here. Meanwhile, God had already told me I should follow them. I followed them. I got there. He said, while I was speaking, the Holy Spirit came upon them like he came upon us in the upper room. Why? Because of Abraham's what? Blessing. We would have been we will not have been permitted to journey that far with God if not for the blessing of Abraham. This is why the mistake that Abraham did became a thorn in the flesh of the circumcised. Because this is something God had been planning even from the foundation of the world. He had been planning. He knew he was going to pick Abraham. He had been planning it carefully, arranging it, that when Abraham comes, then I'm going to build a nation through him. Abraham could not trust God, so he decided to feed his flesh. This was the basis of circumcision. Oh, you are not here. The reason God decided that the way I'm going to... Because, bro, have you thought about it? Why did God choose such a painful thing as the sign of a sweet covenant? If you've never been circumcised in your adult age, you don't know the pain of circumcision. You don't know. Ask mother. Some babies will not stop crying. Eight year old. Even Jesus was circumcised. Are you aware? Go and read your Bible years old, I mean eight days old sorry, after birth, they are circumcised. Do you know the pain? In fact, two of Moses' sons, what are their names? Eh? What are their names? Where's Ovie? The two of Moses' sons that went after the, Sh the Shechemites concerning dinner. What are their names? Le Levi and Simeon, that's right. Levi and Simeon. Now, they wanted to punish their enemies. Eh? You know what they use? Circumcision. They say, this guy has defiled our sister. Then they pretended. 
They say, if you love my sister so much, eh, you must be like one of us. You are unclean. You don't know covenant. We don't give our daughters and our sisters to men that are not covenant men. He says, okay, if you want to be part of the covenant, do what? Circumcise. Hi, Shabarako. And love. You know love can make you do foolish things. You can be under the sun smiling. You say, wait till you do. You say, I'm in love. They say you will buy suya. The lady will be eating suya. You'll be eating onions. Hi. <laughs> Jesus will be, may you not eat onions. Kabolovanaka. The lady will even say, Simon eats suya. And I say, no, I don't like suya. Nalayo. Kabolovanaka. He wants the suya to be enough in case the girl wants to eat more and he doesn't have money. He said, no, you, you, just, you just eat. Are you sure? He said, come on, you know how I love you now. Now lie. Love can make you do foolish things. Don't counsel a sister who has already fallen in love. She will not hear anything you are saying. The brain becomes like egg that is not properly fried. Have you seen egg? My God. Jesus. The time she can hear anything is when love has not entered. This is why we recommend, if you are feeling a reaction towards a brother, tell your pastor. It's not when you people have done midnight call for 42 days. <laughs> and you people have shared angelic encounters. I'm afraid of this generation. <laughs> hey! Jesus, your, your, your angel has been visiting an angel. Then you now come and say, Sir, help us to pray. Help you do what? What? Who do you want to suffer? Who do you? When you already know where you are going, who do you want to suffer? The best time to seek the face of God is when your emotions have not become involved. So they told Shechem, the Shechemites, they said, if you want to marry our sister, circumcise yourself. And love was so great. And they circumcised themselves. And Levi and Simeon knew what they were doing. They knew that a man that is circumcised cannot defend himself. Stay with me. Hmm. A man that is circumcised cannot hold a sword to defend himself. As wicked as that thing was, that Jacob, when he was blessing his other sons, he cursed their anger. Yet, the Bible was telling us a story. Men who are truly circumcised, self dies. When you find a man that can still promote self, eh, he has not yet been circumcised. The pain of circumcision will not let you go to battle to defend your own ego. The pain of circumcision will not allow you go to battle to defend your own pride. Circumcised men do not care about themselves anymore. Self has died. Excess flesh has been cut off. So even when the enemy comes, like when we're praying just now, eh, the tin of the devil cannot be found in their hand. They are weak men in the hand of a great God. Only God controls their appetites. What drove the Shechemites to circumcision? It was love. It's the same love that you have for God that will make you present yourself and say circumcise me. Is that your love for God that will make you come to God? And when God says, oh God, lost has swallowed your heart, you will lie down and say circumcise me. No pretense. 
It was love that drove Shechem. My generation doesn't love God. So excess flesh is growing. You find it in ministry. You find it everywhere. Nobody can turn the other cheek anymore. Can't turn the other cheek anymore. Everybody is angry. Anger is like an armed man. Nobody can prefer their brother to themselves. Did you hear the description of the God kind of love? He says preferring one another. Bro, do you know the meaning of that thing? That me and you are brothers in Christ. And there's only one opportunity. And you say, let my brother take it. Eh? For this life. <laughs> this life. For this Tinubu Nigeria. This life. When we want to come and tell strange testimonies in church. Even our thanksgiving has become demonized. If you are, you, are, you, are, you are not in the mortuary, but you are in the sanctuary. Right now, there are people whose legs are hanging like this. Right now, there are people who can't walk. If you know what God has done for you, why do you need somebody's misfortune to promote your thanksgiving? Why do you need somebody to, to stir you with somebody's disaster? before you can open your mouth to give God thanks. We want to come and share testimony that all of us were Christians, but God chose me. You know those kind of testimonies are sweet. And people say, eh, give me that kind of favor. Meanwhile, what if in that matter is not you God wanted to have it. He wanted you to give it to your brother. We don't think like that. Because the average believer is not circumcised. He's alive. He wants to defend his masculinity. Do you know who you are talking to? Oga, who are you? Do you fly? When we walk on the road, all of us walk together. Even if you fly, I fly higher than you. I fly in the Holy Ghost. Do you have eight heads? It's not the same one head you have that everybody has. Love drove Shechem and his brothers and his uncles. Oga, for a baby, eh? the baby can bear the pain. A grown man, don't believe me. When we are done, go and do medical research. Circumcision for an adult is considered a major surgery. Go and do research. An adult. Circumcision for an adult. Do you know that there are researches that say that even recovery is risky for an adult? It was in that kind of vulnerability. Do you know I've imagined that thing in my mind many times? That Levi and Simeon drew their sword and entered into Shechem. And men tried to stand. They could not stand. It's weak men that kill men when they are defenseless. If you are a man, fight him when he is a man. But you know that that's the posture of the Christian life. Your only defense is Jesus. They said, nobody you that they talk to. Pilate looked at Jesus and said, do you not know that I have ability to save you? Jesus smiled. He said, no man take my life from me. I lay down. The Bible says, like a sheep goeth to his sharers. So Jesus went to the cross and he opened not his mouth. May the Lord give you understanding. <laughs> Welcome back from that video. I know you are blessed in the video. This is Kingdom of the channel. Please do have to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever we have a video like this. Don't forget to drop your comment, drop your point of view. I pray that the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen.